I'm teach you how to draw, okay, how to draw a uh, diamond structure. Okay, how to draw a diamond structure. Now, diamond structure starts okay, with a um, tetrahedral structure. So let me actually draw like this, okay, one dot in the middle. Okay, I want to actually draw a tetrahedral structure. Okay, let's say I'm taking four steps, okay, over here, four boxes. And then that's going to be one line. And then imagine from this center, I'm taking another four box over here. So imagine I want to actually form something like, like this, okay, three, okay, the distance is three. So I'm going to draw a line here and another line here. I'm going to erase this, okay. So in order to do a tetrahedral structure, now I have to decide, okay, uh, because it can be somewhere here, it can be somewhere here. So you need to actually do a regular arrangement. So let's say I decide if I want to draw, Every single time when I draw, maybe I'm going to draw something that ends maybe around here. Okay, so it means one, two, three, four, and then go do, uh, go down by one. Yeah, so I'm going to draw uh, draw like this. Okay, this is one. Okay, now after that, okay, there is this structure will continue. Okay, let's actually continue this structure using the same method that we did. Okay, so here go down four and then go down four and then you have okay uh just now i split to three so three so i'm just drawing like this drawing like this remember just now four and one one two three four and one so i have something like this okay so next is, okay, let's say I'm going to actually use uh, blue. Okay, I do the same thing. Four. And then from here, then three. So this one connects to here, another three. So I have this. Then again, one, two, three, four, and then one. I have this. Okay. So I have connected for this, this, and then how about the last one? Okay, let's connect the last one. Okay, I use the green. Now, so one, go down four, and then another four here, okay, then three. So it connected to this. Okay, so from here, another three, you can see it's connected to this. And then one, two, three, four, and then one. This is how you draw the structure of diamond. Okay, a simple unit. Okay, so here, okay, you can stop over here, or you can continue. Okay, each of them you continue, and it will follow the same structure. Okay, so this is structure of diamond. Now you can actually use the same structure to draw SiO2, how to draw or represent SiO2. Now, if it is going to be diamond, all of them, okay, all the dots that I mentioned just now, they are all carbon. But for SiO2, it's quite simple, okay? You just need to, okay, I'm using uh, white ink over here. Every single time you have a something center, you just put a white dot over there. Okay, just put white dot over there at the center of everything. And that will represent your SiO2. And I'll explain to you why it's representing, how will it represent SiO2. Okay, we know one Si is bonded to four oxygen, okay? So this one will be SI, okay? This one will be SI. The dot, okay, the white dot will represent oxygen. So if you look at the white dot, okay, this white dot is oxygen. Each oxygen is bonded to how many SI? This is SI and this is also SI. So you can see that, okay, each uh, oxygen is bonded to two SI. 
they understood so using the same diagram okay you can actually draw for diamond and you can also draw for sio2 why i'm showing you this because in the structure question that i mentioned one of the structure question in the uh, in the worksheet just now okay there is a way uh, they ask you to draw for the sio2 so how do you draw this is the way to draw okay i hope you understand the lesson today uh, i will end